my name is Kevin. Today we're going to learn about the water cycle. So first, the sun signs on rivers, lakes, seas, and oceans, and that those places get evaporated into water vapor. This is called evaporation. Then, the water vapor goes very high in the, in the atmosphere, and when it reaches a particular distance in the atmosphere, it turns into clouds with the so this is called condensation. Then the those um water droplets get into bigger water droplets, and when it can, the cloud can't hold it anymore, it falls down as rain, or if it's cold enough, snow. This is called precipitation. So then all that rain and snow falls into places with. Like streams, lakes, rivers, oceans, and seas, which is called collection. Then the water cycle starts all over again. Hi guys, this is a model of the water cycle. So the water evaporates into water vapor, which is called evaporation. The snow also evaporates. Then that the water vapor turns into clouds when it reaches a particular distance in the in the atmosphere which is called condensation then the water inside the clouds begins to mix with other water droplets and get heavier and heavier when the clouds can't hold it it burn it lets the water droplets go down into the down all the, down as rain or snow if it's on a mountain this is called precipitation then the then the rain lands on rivers lakes seas and oceans with and that and that is called collection thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel smart science kid bye for now see you soon